What's going on guys? Tiny here. Coming at you with a video game YouTube uh, video today. Because I'm an avid gamer. That's what I do on my off days. I don't get a lot of time off, but whenever I am off, I try to get some video games in. And I recently just went and bought a first person shooter. Um, and I'm going to, this video is basically a rant. And plus, I missed some of the old ways. So I'm either going to come off as one of two ways. Correct? Or that bitter guy that's living in the past. But either way, this video is happening. So I went and bought this yesterday. First person shooter. I've heard good things about it. One of my buddies recommended it. And I get home. And whenever I get home, it has a 77 gig update, which is ridiculous. And our internet is not the fastest here in uh, the hills. So... I'm stuck with what we got. As soon as it finishes the 77 gig, I don't know if you can see this behind me on my big effing TV. And yes, that's what I name my TV because it is huge. But anyway, it's 35 gig. So we get done with that and it goes into that. And I miss some of the simplicity of the old Nintendo 64 coming home, popping GoldenEye in that console and it being ready to roll. I will say this, out of the three newest consoles I have, the PS4, the Xbox One, and my Switch. The Switch is my favorite. Yeah, that's right. I'm playing Lion King and Aladdin. Don't judge, because it was one of my favorites. And this game is still as hard as what it was back on the Sega Nintendo 64. So, that's what the video game, uh, the rant is about. I miss the old stuff, but I'm going to show you some of my collection, so you get an idea that, you know, I am an avid gamer. So... We're going to flip this around and walk you through my collection that I got underneath my TV here. So, All right, guys. So here we are. I'm going to show you some of my collection down here. And then you'll get an idea of just how big a gamer I am. So let's go ahead and get this going. So down here, that is my Super Nintendo Mini. I got that as a birthday gift from a friend of mine that lives in Texas. Still gets played. Then over here, we have the Wii U. Got some good times out of that one. Over here we have the PlayStation 4 with the 4 terabyte external hard drive. One level up we have the Xbox One with a 3 terabyte external hard drive. And then we get into some of the retro classics here. Got the vintage uh, Nintendo 64. I got four controllers with it. GoldenEye. All the good stuff. And this right here, I tell people about this but they have no idea what it is. It is called a Retron 5. Literally, you can pop this bad boy up, and you can have that system, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, which we are rocking the Turtles in Time for, because that game is awesome. And then you got where you can pop in regular Nintendo and Sega right behind it. So, here's all the games and stuff I got. It just goes on for days. So, so as you can see, I'm pretty much an avid gamer. Like, that Retron 5, I can tell that to people who play games and they've never heard of it. So, there's my rant. I miss how simple it was having the older consoles, like the Nintendo 64 and the Nintendo, where as soon as you pop it in, everything you played for, no update, bam, there it was. So, hope you like this view of all my games and stuff, and give me a like and subscribe. If you got any comments on stuff that you have that you think is unique, go ahead and comment below and I'll talk at you later. Bye. Make good choices.